Look what happened when Jesus was doing miracles. In the book of St. Luke, chapter number 11, um, somebody asked me a question on, on one of my YouTubes. Um, he felt he blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. And he said, that's the only sin that God is not going to forgive. Well, well the Bible did say that. But first of all, we must find out what is blasphemy. Let's go to the book of St. Luke, chapter number 11, verse 14. This is when Jesus was doing miracles. And he was casting out a devil and it was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake and the people wondered. But some of them said he casts out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, to my Jesus now, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because he say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. Mm. They said the wrong thing right there. They should have never said that. They got jealous of Jesus. The multitudes was being drawn to the power of Jesus Christ. The scribes were the leaders of Israel. Intellectual. They knew the Torah, which means the law of life. That was their Jewish Bible. But they never seen no one quite like Jesus. He was young, 30 years old. A lot of that was said out of envy. They're, they already knew it was the power of God that used Jesus of Nazareth to cast out devils, but because of the envy in their hearts, they accused him uh, of being a warlock, a wizard, calling his power magic, that he worked with devils. You know, I had that same problem years ago. I started preaching the gospel when I was six years old, and the Lord had me casting out devils at an early age, and there were some bishops and some preachers who got mad and said, you was too young, and they had this rumor about me saying that I work with demons, that um, the reason why I'm able to cast out devils because me and devils work together. But they knew in their heart that it was the power of God, but because of envy, they saw God was using me as a child. They did it out of spite, but in their heart, they knew it was the power of God. Right there, they blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. It's, it's different if someone doesn't even realize it and they get ignorant. And saying things but don't understand what they're saying is wrong. They were spellbound. But when you know that it is the power of God and you speak against his word. And mind me, them, them black Hebrew Israelites always have a criticizing word. Um, if They criticize you if you don't have a beard. Because they're living under the law of Moses. Don't want to acknowledge that we in the dispensation of grace. That we don't have to have a beard to please God. God is judging the heart. And, if, and even if you had a beard, they'll still be criticizing. They criticize people who praise the Lord, who got the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, don't want to see a shout, got envy and jealousy in the heart. They're of a familiar spirit. You know, there are a lot of church folk that's like that too. Everything is always a criticizing word. So if God is using you in the mighty way and they see the power of God and they speak against your ministry, always calling you names, Always got something negative. When you speak against God's servant, you are speaking against God because it's God who is using his servant to bring forth his word. So the scribes were speaking against the Holy 